hit safely in 21 of 22 games, hitting 414 during that time. And right on cue, he rolls it down to the left field corner. And he's on his way to second base, and he's there standing. Very aggressive. He's been aggressive early in counts recently. Shoots it right on by Berger. Quick infield. Berger. And he lifts that one out to left center field. It's pretty well hit. Chisholm's going back out to the wall. It is gone! Three run first inning home run for Nick Castellanos. And the Phillies jump out to an early lead again. They lead it 3 0 here in the top of the first inning with one man down. Look at all these raucous Phillies fans behind the first base dugout. They are loving it. I'm just going to stop thinking up there. I'm going to see it and I'm going to hit it. Well, it's been working for you, Nick. And he knew it right away. The hitter will let you know. Uh huh. And now Bryson Stott, who takes outside. Sir. This month of May. That's why yesterday's game was such an anomaly in the fact that they. The first two innings of games. And a line drive, base hit for Stott into right center field. So Wheels has a. A lead to work with as Chisholm fouls that for six in the first inning as a leadoff hitter. Take so many things uh, that are good right now for Wheeler, including a ground ball to first where Baum will just take it to the bag. Three unassisted. And one out. The 13 is tied for the second most whiffs. 130 versus the sweeper. Remarkable. Back to the box, and the Gold Glover has it. He might be able to race Berger to the bag. He flips it underhand, 1 3 on the putout. Fly ball center field. Pache on the run. It's over his head, and it's going to one hop over the wall. It'll be a ground rule double, and the Marlins are on the board. They were 0 for 7 yesterday with runners in scoring position, 1 for 8 the first night, but it's now a 3 1 game. And Sanchez swung the bat well yesterday. Didn't have a whole lot to show for it, but he was, he barreled some baseballs up. Paul got on that warning track in a hurry. Three two curveball there by Wheeler. Our first round pick by the Twins. And it's 0 oh 2. 0.34 with Stubbs, just a 291 with JT. Fly ball to center field. Pache is under it. Sanchez thinking about tagging. Pache's getting under it. He's got it, and he's going to make that throw, and he's not going anywhere. Well, you'll meet in this game without a doubt. Stubbs blocks that one. Sanchez caught and to the left side, and Sosa will take care of Bruhan. Over to third to Sanchez. Well, she treated them so well. Mm -hmm. Like they were her grandkids. Who talk about her and her legacy. There's a ground ball to shortstop. It's bobbled momentarily by Bruhan. But he's able to get Alec Bohm. See, has 13 career homers here? 15. Fly ball to left. Well, Nick Gordon makes the catch. They may have to take a pitch or two here just to give Zach, yeah. Zach a little bit more of a breather. No kidding. Out of shortstop. This is a quick inning. Garrett needed it. And the Phillies go down one, two, three. Garrett he now has retired. Or even triple than what we normally see here. Mm -hmm. Fly ball left center field. Well hit. Pache's going back on the run. Out to the track. Out to the wall. And it is off the base of the wall. And Chisholm, well, he's going to stop at second. So a leadoff double. This they continue double. to hunt heaters early. So do they have to make an adjustment, you think? I would I would think so. And it's it, you don't have to change everything, but you know, it's one thing we'll, we'll start throwing breaking balls early. It's just the command of the fastballs. You can still throw fastballs early, but just the command of those is, is just not. 
Jake Berger does hit one on the ground. This could be two. Sosa, ooh, he had trouble getting it out of his gloves, so they won't turn two. I don't know if they would have anyway because it wasn't hit that hard. But they get the middle runner, 6-4 on the putout, a fielder's choice. I think they may, may have had a chance because Berger just doesn't run real right. well. Yeah, they may have. You're right. That wasn't noticeable. Thank goodness he was able to get it again. Yeah. No burger was off the griddle fast. Josh Bell, they try to get another ground ball. Ball center field that's well hit Pache is going back and the Marlins are going to have the lead it's a 4-3 game Zach wants a word home plate umpire Jeremy Riggs sure does three run home run for Bell that's his fifth of the year you mentioned good numbers against Wheeler coming into tonight's ball game Fastball center cut. Nothing Pache can do. On top four to three. And right, it's 0 and 1. That was it. <laughs> Number 56 here in the third. Little looper and off the glove of Sosa. He just missed it. Sanchez is two for two. Now Nick Gordon, who's 0 for 1. Fouled it back. They figure this approach has been working. Just keep staying aggressive are the Marlins. I mean, they are uber aggressive. Garrett wanted that one. See by the body language. Out to shortstop. That should be two. There's one and two. Side is retired. Six four three. But damage is done. A three run home run by. D Josh Bell has given the Marlins the lead. We'll head to the fourth. It's 4-3 Miami. <laughs> 